The following program is intended for mature audiences. Welcome to Realist Channel on YouTube, bro. Yeah! So I thought I've gotten a bit of an education as far as what rugby is. So I figured I can't be the only asshole in the world that doesn't know what rugby is and why not put it out there so everybody else can figure it out along with me. Oh, you did? <laughs> so these are the rules, apparently. I haven't clicked it yet, but let's check it out to see if I can follow along. And for those of you at home that know what you're doing, it's probably going to be infuriating to you, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work through it. If you're used song. to watching American football yep. or just want to learn more about rugby, that too. this video will give you some of the basic knowledge you need to understand the game. Cool, man. Rugby is played by 15 players on a field or pitch. Right. 100 meters, about 110 yards long, okay. and 70 meters, about 80 yards wide. Okay, so in American football, I'm pretty sure the field is, I think it might, it might be 100 yards long. Or 101. Somewhere around there. Either way, it seems close to the same. But yours seem wider. The end zones, or end goals, are usually 22 meters long. In rugby, the goal is to score a try, which is similar to a touchdown. Mm -hmm. A try is scored when a player touches the ball to the ground inside of his opponent's end goal. Mm. A try is worth five points. And its conversion, similar to an extra point in American football, is worth two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Similar, but not the same. Hold on, buddy. You're getting ahead of me here. The ball to the ground inside of his opponent's end goal. A try is worth five points. Well, do you think I'm playing? Rugby rules. So we can follow along later. Try. Touchdown, five points. And its conversion, similar to an extra point in American football, is worth two. Okay. So that would be, obviously there's no field goals, so never mind, that makes sense. Players may also score a drop goal, similar to a field goal, by drop kicking the ball over the crossbar and between the posts of their opponent's goal. A drop goal is worth three points. That's the same. Drop goal. Like in American football, after a score and to begin both halves, there is a kickoff. Mm -hmm. The ball is dropped kicked from the halfway line and must go at least 10 meters. Okay, so does that mean there's a designated kicker or does anybody do it? Once it does, it's anyone's ball. Oh, shit. Unlike American football, when a rugby player is tackled, the game does not stop. The tackled player must immediately let go of the ball and place it on the ground. Both teams uh, then have a chance to gain possession of the ball. Hold on. All right, tackle, release, ball means fair game. Players from both teams attempt to step over the ball and push the opposing players away. This allows players not engaged in the contest to reach for the ball and pass it to their teammates. Man, this man. contest is called a ruck. ruck. Players pushing in the ruck may not touch the ball with their hands. Players not engaged in the ruck must wait behind the last feet of the rucking players. 
Once the ball is out of the ruck, the ball is live, and players may make a play on the ball from any point on the field. Rugby has two basic ways of moving the ball between players, passing and kicking. In rugby, players may only pass the ball backwards. If a player throws or fumbles the ball forward, known as a knock-on, the opposing team is awarded possession of the ball. Blocked or charged down hold kicks, on, hold on, throws hold on, or fumbles the ball forward, known as a knock-on, the opposing team is awarded possession of the ball. Okay, not gone. Fumble. Forward pass. Interception. Blocked or charged down kicks are not considered knock-ons. When a player throws a forward pass or knocks on, the opposing team is awarded a put-in to a scrum. The scrum is a contest of strength and technique, where players bind tightly together and push against the opposing team's pack. The, the ball is rolled or put in between the packs, and each team attempts to push the opposing team back and rake the ball backwards towards their side with their feet. So it's like a face-off in hockey. This is crazy, dude. The ball may be kicked forward at any time during play. To be eligible to participate in the ensuing play or to be onside, players must be behind the kicker when he kicks the ball or must wait for the kicker to run in front of them. Okay, so that's similar to American football in a way. When a player carries mm -hmm. or propels the ball out of bounds or into touch, oh, their team loses possession and the opposing team is awarded the throw-in to a line-out. That's basketball, dude. What the fuck, man? In a line-out, opposing players line up one meter apart from each other at the point the ball went into touch. The ball is thrown straight down the middle of these two lines, and both teams lift their jumpers into the air in an attempt to get possession of the ball. Just like American football, rugby has special rules concerning when the ball is downed inside or... Hold on, did I give you your screen, bro? Yeah, I did. ...goes through the end goal. When the ball is... Just like American football, rugby has special rules concerning when the ball is downed inside or goes through the end goal. Okay. When the ball is kicked into the end goal and is downed by a receiving player or goes across the dead ball line at the back of the end goal, similar to a touchback in American football, the receiving team is awarded a 22-meter dropout. During a 22 dropout, the ball is dropped kicked from anywhere behind the line 22 meters from the goal line, or try line. Unlike a kickoff, the ball does not need to go 10 meters before being touched. The ball may be dropped, kicked just across the line and picked up by the kicking team. When the ball is brought by a team into their own end goal and becomes dead, similar to a safety in American football, the opposing team is awarded a scrum five meters from the try line. Oh, this ought to be good. I'm surprised that you motherfuckers have penalties, bro. <laughs> what what's a penalty dude somebody lose all their teeth man <laughs> in rugby time out dangerous on the field bro illegal actions are known as penalties okay a penalty or knock on in rugby does not immediately stop the game if of the referee not. determines that the team that would be awarded the penalty would benefit from the game continuing or playing on he will wait to stop play until it becomes clear if an advantage is gained or not. If an advantage is gained, the referee will call advantage over and the game will continue. If no advantage is gained, the referee will stop play and bring the penalty back to the spot of the foul. Most penalties are taken as either penalty kicks or penalty goals. Both penalty kicks and penalty goals are taken from the spot of the penalty. 
A penalty kick is taken as a free punt. If the ball is kicked into touch on a penalty kick, the team that kicked it gets the throw in to the lineout. A penalty goal is an attempt to kick the ball from the ground Holy or a small shit. tee into the opponent's goal. A penalty oh. goal is worth three points. Wait the ball is that kicked into crazy. touch on a penalty kick. The team that kicked it gets the throw in to the lineout. A penalty goal is an attempt to kick the ball from the ground oh, or a small yeah. tee into the opponent's goal. It's got English on it, like in a pool, dude. Goal. A penalty goal is worth three points. There are many rules in rugby not covered in this video. I'm sure. Don't feel overwhelmed. Oh, no. After a little bit of exposure to the game, the rules will come together and you'll be able to enjoy the game for what it is. Go, 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 dude. You got it. You got it. You got it. Oh, oh got it. You got it. He's in. Oh, shit, dude. That's crazy. Can I see it? Oh, uh, positions, dude. All right, I'm not going to write this down, but we're going to watch it. Rugby 101, player positions. Because I don't even know all of American football. There are 15 positions. players on the field for each team. They are divided into eight forwards and seven backs. And each position has a different role to play in the team. Okay. Let's take a look at the forwards. They're the engine room of the team and thrive in the heat of the battle to physically dominate the other pack. This is how they line up at scrum time. There are two props, a hooker, two locks, two flankers and a number eight. If the forwards are the engine under the hood, then the backs are the flashy bits that make the car go fast. And this is how they line up. There is a halfback, First 5 eights, second 5 eights, a centre, two wings, and a fullback. Let's take a closer look at the positions. Numbers 1 and 3 are the props. The props are the big, strong, no-nonsense players who love a physical battle. So the they flank the hooker in a scrum and are also used to lift jumpers in the line-out. It's not uncommon for a prop to weigh over 250 pounds, Monsters. but still be fit enough to run for 80 minutes. Monsters. Number 2 is the hooker. The hooker. Ah, oh, yeah, I thought that you call him a hooker, bro. <laughs> Except that motherfucker will knock your teeth out and steal your money, right? <laughs> it's the hooker. The hooker, named because they use their feet to hook the ball in scrums, completes the front row. Like the props, they're big and strong and have great ball handling skills, which helps them mm. accurately throw the lineout ball to their teammates. <laughs> Numbers four and five are the locks, or also referred to as the tall timber. With the props and hooker, the locks complete what is known as a team's type five. They're usually the tallest players in the team, and international locks measure up around 6'5 and 240 pounds. So they're like corners. They need their height in the lineouts when they are hoisted high into the air as the hooker throws the ball. In the scrum, locks slot in behind the props and hooker and push hard. Number six is the blindside flanker. The term Tight blindside end. means the closest sideline to where the play is. Flankers are workhorses who cover a lot of ground making defensive tackles. They bind to the side Ooh, of the scrum really and also may be used as an option to be lifted in the line. Number seven is the open side flanker. This is a key position, especially in open play when the ball is moving all around the field. The wow. number seven is go, super go, fit, go. strong, Damn. and probably the best tackler in the team. The open side binds onto the opposite side of the scrum to the blind side, and is often the first player to help secure the ball if a back gets tackled. Number eight is, well, the number eight. The number eight is a powerful runner with great ball skills and a hard-hitting tackler. Running back. This basically. position plays an important role in the scrum, and along with his two flankers, make up what is known as the loose forward trio. Number nine is the halfback. The nuggety halfback is the link between the forwards and the backs. 
They are fast, super fit and strong enough to tackle even the biggest forwards. They are excellent at passing the ball and are handy kickers as well. They also have the task of placing the ball into the scrum. They Number 10 do it. is the first 5 8 This position runs the backline and makes the tactical decisions. Like whether to pass, kick, or carry the ball. The number 10 has great ball skills, is an excellent defender, can kick off either foot, and is normally the goal kicker of the team. Okay, so you do it. Number 12 is the second 5 8. The second 5 stands beside the first 5 and is typically a solid, strong runner and excellent defender. But this position also has great ball skills to work complex attacking moves with his number 10 and outside centre. Number 13 is the centre. The centre is a hard running back and excellent tackler. Their good communicators can read the game and organise the defensive screen in midfield. They are also the link from inside backs to the outside backs, where the real pace is. Number 11 and 14 are the wings. The wings are usually the fastest players on the team, but the modern wing can be big and powerful. Think 220 pounds and sub 11 second 100 meters. They have great evasion skills like fends and swerves and thrive on beating players and scoring tries. They must also be good at catching high punts and be prepared for man-on-man -man defense. So everybody Number 15 better. is the fullback. Along with the wings and centre, the fullback completes the outside backs. The number 15 is often referred to as the last line of defense and is positioned behind all their teammates. Fullbacks are fast, great under the high ball and can kick off either foot. But he's good enough and quick enough to get the kick away. Numbers 16 to 22 are the reserves. Each team is allowed seven reserves and these are a mix of specialist and versatile players. They can be brought on at any time during the game, but only once. And they stay on the park for the remainder of the game. That's interesting. Only one time you can sub? So you guys get like scholarships and shit if you play? For college, it does not work like that. Ugh, come on, dude. Fuck it, let's go. We're already in. Ugh, stop it. We're not famous. Neither am I. Everybody come down, okay? Have a chat to your player, and have a chat to your player. It's just a rugby game, okay? It's just a rugby game, it's a mad one. Uh, are, you re are you a referee or no, your scrum no, no, yes. I don't tell you how, how to play. Don't tell me how to ref. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, even the refs look like they mean business. Be penalty kick again tonight. Okay. Have a chat to your player. Same thing for you. Thank you. D'accord. C'est vous qui démarrez la bagarre générale, d'accord. Donc pour vous, il sera deux rouges. En suivant, vous venez trois fois mettre des coups de poing. C'est rouge. Et je resterai sur la pénalité. Can players get ejected? Time out, please. The letter of the law says if you take a player off his feet, it's your responsibility to bring him down again with care. And there were one or two Frenchmen who didn't think there was an awful lot of care in that, but it's it's a tough decision for Alan Roland to make. Okay, so in American football, there's like rough in the passer, right? But since you guys don't get down like that, it's and even with the tackling rules there's ways like you can't blatantly just smash somebody that's not accepted so i'm assuming it's the same thing here like while it's a rough sport you know you can take the guy out but don't intentionally try to bang his head into the ground on his way down because we don't want anybody to get killed Two, a bit of a contradiction two, in there. Uh, yeah. Have you had a word with them? Uh, yeah, we just saw who's happening. Okay. Oh, you speak to him. Okay. Well, that's the decision. It is a yellow card. I think that's very, very harsh to get a yellow card for that. I think, as you say, Nick, it's pretty, you play rugby, it's a very ferocious game. Uh, it's pretty hard to bring someone down with uh, 
Oh, hang on. Well, is that is that a red card? Red and yellow card. Is that a red card rather than a yellow card for this? Eat the red pill. It's a red card. I'm guessing that's really Sam bad. Sam Warburton has been sent off in a World Cup semi-final. The captain has gone. Okay, so I'm assuming that means you can be rejected. Yeah, well, let's see if it's... Uh... You want eight? Is there any break? Uh, off for ten minutes. Stuart Hogg chasing down his own kick and... Okay, so yellow... ...when he did his deed. He going to see this again. We saw the incident, but... It wasn't a close-up. Right. It turned side on. Oh. I'll tell you what, he is very, oh, very my, lucky it. that he is not... That is not a red card. That is a red card offence. That oh. is a red card offence. So, okay, if I'm understanding this right, a red card means that you get ejected, and a yellow card means you get suspended temporarily. Like how in hockey they have a penalty box where you go and you sit in there for two minutes because you're a bad boy and you think about what you did. That would be a sight thing. That's a very, very bad tackle. Well, well, Dan Bigger recovers from that uh, unfortunate shot. Let's uh, hear from, well, no, he's looked at the, the replay and it's a red card. Yellow turns to red. So the they could just change it? at the big screen and says, no, that's the wrong decision. Peace Stuart out. Goodbye. Don't be an asshole, 15. Hold on, hold on. Do you understand this decision? Okay. First of all, you cannot pull someone by the hair. Okay, that's a red card for you. It is a red off card. You off, off you go. go. Yeah, we well, are fighting like a lady. You can't turn around and punch someone in the face. That's punch. a red card for you. Oh. It's a red card a piece. It's going to be 14. Okay. 14 <laughs> each side. It's going to be against you because he initiated it. Oh, damn. Nine night. I think he's one of the best props in the competition, but he should walk from the field. There's little doubt in that, Brian. That is red card. Not once, not twice. Okay. He would have been frustrated over the fact that he could have scored a try. Instead, he took it out on Lanzo Higher. And the same standoff is still lying on the ground. I'm going to say, the one he threw stood up while he might have stayed on the field, the one on the Here ground might be the, the problem. Guard. It's a send-off for Ben Flair in the first two minutes of the grand final. Damn, bro, you can't punch people Come in the face the like that. What's the matter with you? Oh, shit. Wait, wait. No, no. Wait. No, that's bad. Listen, he's gone above the horizontal and he's landing on his neck. I've got no option but a red card. You're not joking. You're not joking. Yeah. I understand. I decide what's a dangerous tackle. You can't or not. go over I didn't the think top. That was. You can't retaliate by driving into a player not close to the ball. Penalty is against you. A talking point, I think it's fair to say. Not and even a yellow card. Tui Fua okay, stays on the pitch. Now, wait a minute. If this guy keeps running his mouth to the ref, can he catch a red card too? <laughs> I thought the tackle was acceptable. Okay. That's why I played on. That, ex that was a good one. This is Chris Tucson, the ball next right. to How bad? bad? Quite bad. Right, they're going and Gareth Fox going. Get off! We're in oh. hot shorts, dude. Has he sent him off? Is this a red or a yellow? It's a red for Gareth. A lot of red for somebody else going, he says. Where's McGuinness gone? McGuinness. The referee wants to. Sean McGuinness. And he's off as well. Where's Tucson? And he wants Chris Tucson. He's not going to send him as well, is he? I think he might go as well. Oh, three. It's three red cards. Oh, shit. Triple red. This is red. So do they get unlimited cards for the game? Well, no, they can't, right? Because there's only, what they said, seven players, six players on the side, so they can only throw out six guys. Otherwise, the game would be forfeited to the other team. Of the home defeat by the Saints in 2008, sadly for Wigan and Michael McAloran, history repeats itself. Put it down, please. Oh, this Put could it be down. Great. 
Wow. Well, listen, no, but I've got it. There's I've no got arms, it. I can tell you that now. No arms. Wow. 12, please. Captain. Charge keep going, sir. The timing's OK, but it's a shoulder charge, which is a yellow card. It's now your second yellow card, which is a red card. No. Okay, so you can get two yellows before you get a red. Ma'anonu is off for the game. I might say too that uh, oh, Jimmy Kidd has bounced back up. It's a very important match. 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 Yo, what do you think you're doing? The two premiers for me, there are 17 blancs and the two noirs. D'accord? It's good for you there. You got a problem? You got a problem? Ça craint d'être encore deux joueurs de première ligne. Vous faites blanc et deux noirs, c'est bon pour toi On va pas tarder d'avoir des milices. Listen, I'm gonna handle this. You guys better listen to what I'm telling you. We're gonna have some problems. Listen, you can't act like an asshole, man. Mais quoi C'est le terrain de rugby, on joue loyalement, d'accord Donc vous, ça sera carton rouge et vous, ça sera carton rouge. Do things like that with no consequence. I'll take so here, take this right here. Hold on, let me pick it up. Here, bam, that's for you. Edward, oh, carton rouge, deux expulsions. Alors on va reprendre un petit peu les données. Pablo N et Tony Testa qui sortent donc. N à l'image. Le pilier argentin et on va probablement simuler les mêlées. Ah là, oui, ça va commencer à être compliqué. All right, last one, last one. Then I'll get out of here. I'm sure this is boring. I think this is fascinating, but. I made my point. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, but I want to explain you. How many times I gotta tell you? I'm here for the safety of the player. Leave the gun, take the controls. Close to the law. It's a tip tackle. You leave the player, turn, and the player left on the head. Oh shit! So that's what the refs are wearing on their head. They got cameras, I guess, so they can review. Do you guys have instant replays where you can review a charge before a player gets kicked off, sent off, rather? So you've come in with the shoulder, no effort to bind, you've contacted the player with the head, this has to be a red card. Ooh. Red card. It has to be a red card, shoulder to the head. Okay, that makes sense. Unbelievable scenes here. Shot from a try to a red card. Up, yeah. No bind, but it would have contact with the head, contact with the head, no bind. But it has to be a red card. Down to 13 okay. men. Head with the shoulder, no bind. The reasoning from the ref, and rightly so. The player, the player, India. But his eyes no, on the ball the whole time. The player time. is India. It's dangerous, Tucker. The, no, no, no. It's on the air. The player, the contact with the ground is the head. Yes, but. Yeah, rare no, I it's a rare you. card for Jared Payne. The power of As Alex Good is carried away a on a stretcher. He calls the and the captain, role. please. We play advantage yeah. for Japan for no rolling uh, for no clear release. Yeah. But after that, we have a clear yeah. shoulder chart, yeah. make contact in the head. Yeah. It is really dangerous. This is yeah. a red card. Red card? Yeah. Crowd responds as Japan goes down to 14 yeah. men the rest of the way. Yes. So so is that what you're saying? Yes, it's, it's what I get. So it's a dangerous Oh shit, card women card play too? The back and it's yellow card. Yes. Yeah. 14 blue. Thank you, David. 14 blue, Captain. Because she was getting Damn, this one right. No women See, he's a dangerous tackle. Yeah, dangerous tackle. The player landing That's what's up, up, man. They... they they need to, they should let women play in American football against, even if it's only against other women, because I know, you know, the whole argument, there's been a lot of arguments made about fighting with uh, mixed martial arts, whether men should fight women in certain situations, you can probably read between the lines what I'm talking about, but I mean, even if you, I mean, if they were the similar weight class I don't know, it gets a little a little bit. But I mean if they can hang, dude, why not, right? Give them their own fucking league, bro. 
if you're not going to let them loose. play together. Well, the letter of the law, the rules, you're landing on your head neck area, we're looking at red. Yeah. If it's shoulder or anywhere below that, we are looking at yellow card. Okay, so on, that was a good piece of information. Head or neck is red. Shoulder lower is yellow. What color? Yellow or red? I think you've got to go red. I don't think you've got another option. Okay, so you've got a clear punch to the face of an opponent. Yes. Yeah, Are we going a red card? Very comfortable. Well, Hayden Triggs is getting a red card here. Yeah. Hmm. So I guess it depends on how the fight starts. You've got a starts. clear view of a punch to the face of an opponent. I've got no option. That's a red card. Really? Yeah. Really? A punch to the face is a red card. He'll be disappointed, Hayden Triggs. Okay, so he's landing on his back first. Yeah, top of top of his back, shoulders, then the neck. So I, I'm definitely looking at top of back. All right. So in that case, he that wasn't a real chance to catch the ball. Correct. He's landed on his back or shoulder, top of his shoulder. Yeah. So for me, it's a yellow card. I agree. Okay. Yeah, but you're saying but he hit his head. No, really? I'm just lowering really? the shoulder. I thought the neck was red. I guess it depends on okay. the hit. He wasn't a realistic place to catch the ball. Okay, he's landed on the top of his shoulders. Okay, so in that case, it's a yellow card. Fair point. Okay, that's yeah. Oh, Billy Larue can have no complaint there, and and a hand up in apology to his teammates and Rory Best was in there. Also get involved. All right. I've got 16. We also then retaliates. 16. Yes. Wrestling on the ground. No problem. So I recommend yellow card to black mm. and also yellow card to 16 white. Okay, and how do we restart again? So it's the two hookers the who are going to go off here yeah, with black. a yellow. All right, thank you. Danny Kurtz here. You and you. For retaliation. Come here. Both two, two yellows. Let's hear a full explanation two here. Bon Mopo on the left, Kurtz here on the right. You and you. Off you go. And Danny Kurtz here no. has got a very healthy no. head of hair. Look, he's still talking shit. Decided he'd give it a, a yank and a pull. Later, pal. Don't and worry about that. Off the field. Just be careful with those, okay? Just be, be very careful with the way you come out. You must use your arms. Be careful on that, okay? While we're here, we're going to go back for the penalty against 12 black for the unnecessary pull after the ball had gone. There seems to be a little bit of stuff off the ball. Okay, I'm catching up the corner of my eye. We've now had a couple of reviews. Just have a word. Okay, so you do have reviews. Yeah, yeah. Where's the mark? Driving that scrum. Wayne Barnes must be thinking in terms of the penalty try. He's going to have a. No, no, hold on, hold on. Just listen to it. Second penalty in a row. This player has gone across and come out. I'll put three in the bin if I need to. I, of course I can. I will. Dude, I gotta watch one of these games, bro. That's nuts. So look, I'm I'm learning, I'm learning things, I'm learning things. What's that? NBA fights. We're not gonna make this like an hour long video. That would be bananas. But dude, that's that's it's complicated, but it's not complicated. But I think I wanna I wanna try to watch a game to see if I could follow it. You know. With that being said. If you didn't know anything about rugby, like I didn't, hopefully this has helped you. And if you know where I can catch a game, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna look up on the interwebs and see if I can find something. But if there's like some kind of but, well, no, because I don't have cable, so I don't think I would be able to find it. I'll see if I can if I find a game and I watch it. I will let you guys know what's going on. You're probably gonna I'll probably get wrapped up in this shit, dude. Watch, it's ridiculous. Either way, you know. Oh my god, bro, I'm so bad at my job, dude. Podcast on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify. 
I just, radio public. I don't plug the fucking thing, and I wonder why nobody listens. Well, I can't say nobody. Some of y'all listen, but you know what I'm trying to say. More people probably would listen if they knew it existed, if I plugged it in the beginning of the damn video like I'm supposed to. Jesus. Unbelievable, right? Well, it's alright. Maybe I can cut this part out. Well, no, that, that wouldn't make sense. Whatever. I'll, I'm will i going to write a sticky note and put it on the damn computer to remind myself to plug the fucking podcast. Go check it out. Three episodes out right now. One and two on YouTube. Two and three on every other platform. And four is coming soon. I'm actually going to work the details out on that. So look out for that soon. I'll update you when that's coming out. I'll let you know what's going on. In the meantime... Appreciate the information, man. I'm going to check this shit out. Catch you later.